We are here to praise you. Lift our hearts and sing. We are here to give you best that we can bring, and it is our love rising from our hearts. Everything within us cries. Abba Father, help us now to give you pleasure and delight, heart and mind and will that say, I love you, Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Respected and dear loving sisters and brothers in Christ. Today, we read in the Bible, the Gospel, a call to the tax collector, St. Matthew. Tax collectors were being hated by everybody else. And nobody did make a look at him. He was sitting beside. Everybody hated on different reasons. And you know, he was collecting tax, but the Jesus was collecting souls. Jesus looked into him penetratingly and he changed. It was his look. It was his look that made Matthew a Saint Matthew. And you know, there are different looks that Jesus penetrated into. One day he penetrated the look to Zacchaeus. Come down. I want to dine with you. And one day he penetrated the look to St. Peter. He was crying. He was crying. Because he said, I don't know this guy. And the look of Jesus is very important to change the people. And here... St. Matthew changed from being a tax collector to a soul collector. It's not the Matthew's humility that he wanted to show everybody else what he is. More than the humility of St. Matthew, what we have to see to it, the graciousness the magnanimity of mercy of God, the Jesus. Let us look into Jesus' profile and look into the Matthew's profile. Are we collecting the wealth here in this world or are we going after the souls of the people? Today, as we read, as we are going to read the Gospel, the conversion of St. Matthew. With regard to this, let us confess our sins. Brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, bless me, dear Virgin, all the angels and saints, and in my brothers and sisters, to pray for me 
to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let's pray. O oh God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be the children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the whole unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Amos. Hear this, you who trample upon the needy and destroy the poor of the land. When will the new moon be over, you ask, that we may sell our grain, and the Sabbath, that we may display the wheat? We will diminish the containers for measuring, add to the weights, and fix our scales for cheating. We will buy the lowly man for silver, and the poor man for a pair of sandals. Even the refuse of the wheat we will sell. On that day, says the Lord God, I will make the sun set at midday, and cover the earth with darkness in broad daylight. I will turn your feasts into mourning, and all your songs into lamentations. I will cover the loins of all with sackcloth, and make every head bald. I will make them mourn as for an only son, and bring their day to a bitter end. Yes, days are coming, says the Lord God, when I will send famine upon the land, not a famine of bread or thirst for water, but for hearing the word of the Lord. Then shall they wander from sea to sea, and rove from north to the east, in search of the word of the Lord, but they shall not find it. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. One does not live by bread alone. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. One does not live by bread alone. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. But by every word that comes from the mouth of God. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. One does not live by bread alone. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. But by every word that comes from the mouth of God. My soul is consumed with longing for your ordinances at all times. One does not live by bread alone. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. But by every word that comes from the mouth of God. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. One does not live by bread alone. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. But by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Behold, I long for your precepts. In your justice give me life. One does not live by bread alone. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. One does not live by bread alone. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. But by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 9, verses 9 to 13. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew 
sitting at the tax booth. And he said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. And as he sat at dinner in the house, many tax collectors and sinners came and were sitting with him and with his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard this, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician. But those who are sick, go and learn what this means. I say mercy, not sacrifice, for I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May this gospel wipe away our sins. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to begin for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this you this of you. And you let be the divine work of human hands and spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With a humble spirit and complete heart, we may be accepted by you, Lord, and may you sacrifice in you. We praise to you, Lord. Wash me, Lord. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest Blessed, blessed is he Who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna, Hosanna Hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the bountiful holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall. 
so that they may begin for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one of the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Pope and all our bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with Saint Joseph, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be the heirs to eternal life. And may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Through him, with him, and in him. Our God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the 
sins of the world have mercy on us, Lamb of God. sins of the world grant us your peace may this mingling with the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ Bring it in life to us who receive it. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. And my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I am the Good Shepherd, and I lay down my life for my sheep, says the Lord. Let's pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. In heaven the blessed your glory proclaim. On earth we, your children, invoke your sweet name. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Your name is our power, your virtues our life. Your love is our comfort, your prayers are our might. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. We pray for the church, our true mother on earth. And beg you to watch o'er the land of our birth. Ave, Ave, Ave.
off and 